Hi, this is Bilal from Spackle, and in this video, I will show you how to convert your blocks from Rhino into families in Revit using Spackle. As you know, Rhino has a very powerful geometry engine. It has a bunch of modeling tools. Creating really complex shapes inside Rhino is much easier than creating those using Revit modeling tools. So in this video, we will show you how to convert your you know, shapes you created inside Rhino into Revit families using speckle so let's dive in before we get started make sure you have the following tools in your arsenal first you need to have a speckle account you can sign up for a free account at speckle.xyz next you need to download the speckle manager this is where you can install all the characters and manage your accounts you can download it from speckle's website at speckle.systems also, we will be using Revit and Rhino applications in this tutorial, so the corresponding connectors need to be installed via the manager. So we have separate tutorials on how to install the manager as well as the connectors. You can access them uh, from the cards in the top right corner of this video. So from now on, I will assume that you have all the requirements installed. Now that we have our tools ready, let's proceed to the next steps. These are the two objects that I want to convert into Revit families. And you may think you need to do something special to convert them into families, but you actually don't. With the 2.16 release of Speckle, Revit Connector now automatically converts blocks coming from other applications into Revit families. So what you need to do is simply open your Rhino file, select the blocks you want to convert into a Revit family, select the Speckle project, select a Speckle model, and then press send. First, this will convert Rhino blocks into Speckle blocks. Data is sent. Let's view this inside Speckleverse. And this is how it looks like inside Speckle. Now let's receive this inside Revit. Here we are in Revit. I will create a new project using the default architectural template. Here we are. So, you know, you're aware that I haven't done anything special. I will enable the Speckle connector by going to the Speckle tab and then pressing Revit connector. I will select the same project that I sent my data to, the Rhino Blocks, the Revit Families project, and then the main model. And instead of sending, this time we will receive data. So I will press on receive. And receive is completed. Let's quickly go to 3D view, zoom into the received data, and select one of them. And ta-da! This is now received as a family. How do I know that? Because now there's a new button for edit family. And if I were to go to the properties of the selected object, you can see there is now a new family and type created under the generic models category, right here, generic models. So let's talk a bit about what is happening behind the scenes. Where does the name of the family and type is coming from? The block name from Rhino is converted into the family and type name. So let's quickly confirm if that's the case. I will go back to Rhino. Quickly open block manager. And as you can see, I have two blocks, one for wood chair and another one for table. These are converted into family and type names. Another one is, you know, the geometries are converted into Revit geometries, which we can confirm. And lastly, the materials from Rhino are converted into Revit materials. Let's quickly confirm that too. I'll go to the materials tab. And then as you can see, I have a wood material with the brown color and another one for the textile material with the green color. I'll quickly switch over to Revit, go to its materials library, and then search for textile first. And here we go. We have a new material for textile and its shading color is set as the green color from Rhino. Let's do the same for the wood material. We have a bunch of wood materials, but we're looking for this specific one, and its shading color is brown color uh, coming from Rhino. So perfect, we have confirmed that the uh, family and type names are set as the block name, geometries are converted into Revit geometries, and materials are converted into Revit materials. Lastly, let's quickly open one of these objects inside Revit's family editor. And I will quickly switch over to the reference level view. And as you can see, the origin point is set as the top left corner of this object. 
And this origin point corresponds to the block origin inside Rhino. So we are using the blocks origin as the uh, origin point inside the family editor. All right. So <clears throat> I will show the connectivity aspect of, of this feature. So I will add more instances of this chair into my model now. I actually already done that. I will quickly uh, make them visible. And as you can see, I have added three more chairs. I will select them, set the current selection and send them again to Speckle. Now what we're expecting is three more instances of the same chair inside Revit. Let's quickly confirm if that's the case. I will quickly receive the data and ta-da! As you can see, I have three more chairs inside my Revit model, which are the same family and type. So another feature is that if there is already a family and type with the same name as the coming data, we are automatically going to use it instead of creating a new one, right? Let's say that you had a family in Revit, which corresponds to a block name. You can use this feature to quickly convert your blocks from Rhino into existing Revit families. So naturally you may ask, you know, uh, I'm not really happy with the generic models. How can I assign categories to my families in Revit? There are actually two ways you can do this. The first one is pretty obvious. You can assign those categories inside Revit. So simply select your object, go to its family editor environment. I already have one open. And then go to this button, family category and parameters. And then from this dialog, you can assign whatever category you want. In this case, let's quickly assign maybe furniture. Press OK load this back into the project. Make sure you overwrite the existing version. And now when you select one of these, their category will be set as whatever category you have selected in the family editor. So, you know, when you receive this again from Rhino, maybe you received more instances, it will automatically use this family because the family and type name matches with the coming data. And the category will be whatever you defined in Revit. So this is the first way. The second way is actually you can assign categories inside Rhino. If you don't know, we have recently introduced a new feature uh, for Rhino and SketchUp connectors. It is called Mapper. It allows you to quickly convert your uh, CAD geometries into beam elements. You can convert your surfaces into floors, ceilings. You can convert your lines into beams and columns. And you can also convert your blocks into Revit families. Uh, let's quickly open the mapper. Uh, if you don't know how to open it, simply search for speckle mappings in the command line, and it will open this screen. And what you need to do is simply select the objects that you want to convert into families. And then from this dialog, the first option will be set as the new Revit family. And the second drop down menu is for the category. Let's say you want to set uh, the uh, category for these chairs as furniture. Simply select that and press apply. Let's quickly do the same for the table. I will select it and say this one will become furniture systems and press apply. Now everything has their categories assigned. Let's quickly select them and send them to Speckle. I will switch over to Revit, and I won't receive it in the same project. Why? Because there are already families with the names of the block loaded in this project, so it will use the existing families. This is an important point. If you wanna load it in the same project, then you need to remove those families uh, use it via the project browser. Right. Instead, I will create a new project using the architectural template. And again, I will select the same speckle project, speckle model, go to the receive tab and press receive. Receive completed. Let's go to 3D view. Let's quickly confirm if the categories are correctly assigned. I will select this chair and its category is furniture. Let's quickly select this table and its category is furniture systems. 
So whatever category we assigned inside Rhino is correctly reflected into Revit project. So this was it. In this video, I showed you how to quickly convert your blocks from Rhino into Revit families. We showed that conversion supports the conversion of the block name into family and type name. It converts your geometries into Revit geometries, materials into Revit materials. I also explained what happens behind the scenes. How does this feature work? If there's already an existing family with the same name as the block name, uh, the Revit connector will automatically use that. And we also covered how to assign categories. The first option was assigning those categories inside Revit. And the second option was assigning those inside Rhino using the Mapper tool. I hope you find this video helpful. If you encounter any issues while following this tutorial, let us know in the comment section below. If you have an idea for a new feature that would make this workflow even more powerful, let us know at speckle.community. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.